What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can uh, ring the bell and smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, if, please excuse the noise. My son is in there cleaning some things in the sink, so I apologize for the noise. They are home for me, a uh, home um, for the weekend, so I'm very happy about that. So I got um, this is. Pisces week four reading for November of 2021. This could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midhaven, or Jupiter charge. Step into the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I got three channel three for you for your sign for week four of 2021. So I'm going to share. The first one I heard an unex um, someone unexpected is about to help a Pisces out in a huge way. That was the first one. The second one I heard a Pisces is about to help a Leo out in a huge way. So Pisces and Leo energy. Um, and then the third one I heard um, a Pisces is about to um, a Pisces is about to have the legal system involved in um, custody and children matters. They're not going to want to. And then at the end of that, I heard someone connected to a Pisces is about to have someone in um, the legal system involved in um, Pis um, in children and custody matters. They're not going to want it to happen. So the, actually technically four. So dear Lord have mercy. That's a lot of channels. So you plug it in however that resonates. If that resonates for you Pisces. So someone unexpected. There's a mix of good and bad in here. You know there's good and bad in everything. So you have to plug in the messages that resonate for you and leave the rest. It's a free general reading. So, a Pisces is about to have someone an, um, unexpected. They would have never thought to help them out, help them out. So, you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, Pisces. And then a Pisces is about to help a Leo out. So, whoever this Leo is in your life, Pisces, um, you're about to help them out. I heard in a huge way. So, it's not a baby way. It's a huge way. It can be masculine or femme Pisces. You can be masculine or femme Pisces. If that resonates for you, but you're about to help this Leo out in a huge way. They could have Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter, if that resonates for you. And then a Pisces is about to have, I heard, um, the legal system and the legal system involved in children and court matters. So some kind of court and children matters, a Pisces is. I heard they're not going to want it to be that way. And then... Someone connected to a Pisces is about to have the same thing done to them. So a lot of children and legal matters through the court system. Um, you plug that in, how that resonates. It sounds like that's coming up for whoever that is resonating for. So you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Nine of Swords upright, Six of Cups upright. A gathering of Pisces is about to attend. It's about to reveal some very important information. For some Pisces, it will really help you. For some Pisces, you're going to learn this information and help someone else out. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates. Um, a very significant gathering of Pisces is about to attend. So if this resonates for you, it's some kind of significant gathering or you are about to attend, it sounds like Pisces. Um, there's some kind of very important information you're about to learn. Some of you guys, it's going to help you in a huge way. Some it's going to help, you're going to learn this information and help somebody else out. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. For some, it's invited over to someone else's house. For some, it's a graduation. For some, it's a work gathering. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's a work gathering, for some it's a graduation, and for some it's um, an event where you're invited over to someone's house. So you plug it in, how that resonates. And a Pisces is about to get significant, a significant, important email. And a Pisces is about to send a very significant, important email. Personal. 
personal. Okay, so if that resonates for you, you're, uh, one of you guys is going to send a personal, significant personal email, and one of you guys is going to receive one. For some, it could be both. You plug it in how it resonates. So, nine of swords upright is stress, anxiety, worry, fear, and then the um, six of cups upright is the information in this um, aspect. Um, you're going to be happy when you learn the information. For some, it's going to benefit you. For some, it's going to benefit somebody else because you're going to turn the wheel to help it benefit someone else. Um, but I think the stress, anxiety, worry, fear was maybe some of you guys were having hard times in your life in some shape, form, some shape, form, or fashion, and the information is going to help you and make you happy. That's the one first way I see this. Second way I see this is um, you're going to learn some information that's going to help you, but maybe it's going to, like, um, implicate somebody else um, is what I'm feeling. Or you've already learned information and it's going to implicate somebody else, which is not a swords upright, stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Um, they know you know, so it's you're going to help like, report something or um, stand up for somebody you never thought you would or something like that, which is going to give them stress, anxiety, worry, fear. It's going to make you happy when you learn this information. That's the other way I see this, but you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have a sign of Pisces. A particular Pisces is really about to see a Libra's true colors in a huge way. They're not going to like them. And they will say something. For some, finally. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, one of you guys is about to see a Libra true colors. It could be a masculine or femme Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, Hebrew, and Jupiter. It could be in a personal relationship, professional relationship, neighbor relationship, etc., etc., etc. But you're about to see their true colors in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you're not going to like them, and you're going to say something finally. So for some of you guys, I feel you've already seen the true colors, and you just didn't... Maybe you wasn't strong enough to stand up to them, or you felt like you couldn't stand up to them, but now you're going to. If that resonates for you, um, if that resonates for you, it's a Libra. They can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter. If that resonates. King of Wands upright, the Hierophant reverse. A Gemini is very, very significant in a particular Pisces life. Some, you are married to this Gemini. Some is a third-party situation. However, significant series of chain of events are about to occur in their life and your life soon, which is going to dead the relationship. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Gemini energy strong. It can be masculine or femme Gemini. Um, they could have Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter. You're pulling in a lot of signs here, Pisces, a lot, I just want to say. But um, how that resonates, I heard um, some of you guys are married to this Gemini. For some, you are in a third-party situation with them. But some kind of significant series of chain of events, it sounds like is about to occur soon regarding the Gemini and regarding you, which is about to end the relationship. So, um, you plug it in, how that resonates. For some, it could be um, filing for divorce because you're married to them. I heard it's going to end the relationships. So I don't know if it's ending the sexual relationship or ending the contract of marriage if you're married to them. Because um, some you're married, some you're not. If it's a third party, I'm assuming it's just a breakup. Uh, but if it's a marriage, that's a whole different story. That's a whole friggin' marriage, just saying. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um For some, it's other people coming in to the to the relationship. It's going to piss this Gemini off in a huge way. Okay, I heard for some of you guys, it's other people coming into the relationship, 
it's going to piss the Gemini off in a huge way. So for some, you could have a third party. For some, you could have a third party. If you're married to them, you could have a third party. For some, um, um, if it is Gemini is your third party, you could have another third party um, or another person or how, however it plugs in your life and you just want to end the situation with a Gemini, which that's what it sounds like for some of you guys because I heard it's going to piss the Gemini off. So it sounds like you're willingly going to in the relationship with this Gemini because you have somebody else coming in that you think would be a better option in the love department um, for the third party situation is what I'm feeling for the marriage. Now that's a whole different story. Um, you could just, if you're married to the Gemini, I'm assuming you just have a third party and you're going to cut the Gemini off sexually is what I'm assuming, but you plug it in how it resonates. Now that I hear all the messages, I think this is the third party energy, um, cutting off the Gemini and, um, having the, either the new third party or the third party if you're married to them. Lots of desire, drive, and motivation. It could be masculine energy coming in for the third party or a fin that takes on heavy masculine energy. How that resonates. But they have lots of desire, drive, and motivation for, toward you, and I think you think they're a better option. You definitely think they're a better option, and you're going to tell this, this Gemini. Okay, I heard you definitely think they're a better option. So you definitely think this part, new person, it's love situation. It's love S type or sex X type um, energy. You definitely think they're a better option. And you, so you, you're you going to stand up to them. You're going to tell the Gemini, hey, I'm, I don't want to be with you sexually or romantically or blah, 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 blah. And it sounds like you're going to do it. And then higher fit reversed. So um, breaking either this is either divorce energy breaking of the marriage contract or breaking up because this is marriage or business contract but for some of these it's third party situations and for some it's marriage so for some you actually could file for divorce for the, um with this gemini for some you have to plug your life out fits and for some i feel it's just breakup energy for some you could be dealing with the torrent maybe the person coming in for the third party for some is a torrent because it's taurus energy if it is, they can have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and between with Jupiter, if that resonates for you. Sphere messages you have for the sign of Pisces. A particular Pisces is about to speak with a federal agent soon. Some Pisces, they are seeking this this federal agent out and willingly speaking to them some pisces they do not want to speak to this federal agent holy moly you've got so many channeled in here pisces holy crap so you plug it in how it resonates so some of you guys you're willingly want to speak to a federal agent about person people place family situation or organization and some you do not so some it sounds like you're calling a governmental entity agency energy of some type to speak to a federal agent is what it sounds like it sounds like you're about to for some or you just want to help in a investigation and you're willingly just want to speak with them however that resonates but for some you don't want to speak to them so there's something you're hiding or you don't want to display or you know and um you don't want to be implicated how that resonates there's a reason for the ones that don't want to speak to the federal agent there's a reason they don't want to speak to them um, if that resonates for you Five of Swords upright, Five of Pentacles upright, Ace of Swords reversed. It's better to be honest because it's coming out anyways. Okay, I heard it's better to be honest because it's coming out anyways. So I'm assuming that goes for the second group. Because um, there's some of you guys, want to, want, you want to speak to the federal agent. You want to. You want to display the information. You want to help. You Or maybe you're calling. And one need to speak to them. However, that resonates for some. For some, you don't want to. There's strategic reasons why you don't want to. But I, but for that, for that group, I heard it's better just to be honest because it's coming out anyways. So, to me, that could that could really go with anything. That could go secret seven. That could go human trafficking. That could go sex trafficking. That could go um, theft. That could go um, anything federal agent oriented. I, I'm guessing. Um, you plug it in. How it resonates. Five of Swords upright, Five of Pentacles upright, Ace of Swords reverse.
There's about to be a huge argument between a Pisces and a Gemini regarding the Gemini's ex being left out in the cold. This Pisces was lied to in a huge way. And they still are being lied to. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates for you, Pisces. Or there's about to be a huge argument between you and a Gemini. You're pulling in um, strong Gemini energy. Strong for some of you guys. Um, a huge argument between you and a Gemini about a Pisces, uh, about a Gemini's ex being left out in the cold. So um, I heard you were lied to in a huge way and you still are being lied to. So for some of you guys, I feel maybe that is the energy, your third party energy for some. That's what I'm feeling. And for some, it could be the person you're married to. And it could be their ex, however that resonates. But um, I heard you were lied to and you still are being lied to. So you've been lied to. Uh, apparently, I think they told you that they were not being left out in the cold financially. It has to do with uh, finances because we're five of pentacles up right here. Um, but, um, but you've been lied to and you still have been lied to. So maybe that's what caused the breakup energy or the divorce energy. However, that resonates for you. But, um, conflict energy, the argument between you and this Gemini, whether you are married to them or it's a family member or a friend or what have you, but it's regarding their ex. It's regarding their ex. So, I don't know if you're a family member of this Gemini, if you're a partner of this Gemini, if you're a third party of this Gemini, if you're a neighbor of this Gemini, but you are connected to this Gemini in some shape, shape, form, or fashion, and you're about to have an argument with them. They are not going to like this, but it's important to stand up for yourself. Okay, I heard they're not going to like this, but it's important to stand up for yourself. So they're not going to like that you bring this up, basically. They're not going to like that you stand up for yourself or others. Um, maybe for some, you might be standing up for the ex. I mean, I don't know, but um, they're not going to like it. But I heard it's important to stand up for yourself. This is about the ex being left out in the cold financially. And I heard, and this was lies. You were lied to, and I guess said they wasn't. And I heard you're still being lied to. So maybe you're going to find out some lie, um, some truth on it. Possibly. Because it sounds like this Gemini is going to get very defensive. Um, it sounds like they're going to get very defensive when you bring it up. But you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have sign of Pisces. A Pisces is about to take their family on a vacation soon. Well deserved. Okay, I heard a Pisces is about to take their family on a vacation soon, well deserved. So you go with your bad self if that resonates for you, Pisces. You're about to take your family on a um, vacation soon, well deserved. So you plug it in how it resonates. February staff. February. For some very significant events happened in February of 2021. For some, very significant events are going to happen in February 2022. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, some kind of significant events happened in February 2021. It could be significant events that happened to you or somebody you're connected to. And for some, it sounds like some significant events are going to happen um, in February 2022. I didn't hear specifically what they were. If that could be to you or somebody you're connected to, you plug it in how it resonates. One particular Libra, a Pisces, is connected to thinks that they're going to get away with lies of the past. But they are not going to. They are all about to come out soon. A Leo is about to fight back in a huge way. 
know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so if this resonates with you, uh, it's a Libra and a Leo energy. Uh, it could be masculine or family, Libra or Leo. They could have Libra or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midham to Jupiter, if that resonates for you. Um, but so it sounds like a Libra lied on a Leo in a huge way or lied about a situation or lied about you and a, a, a Leo or a situation regarding you and a Leo. Because somehow you're connected in this, um, if this resonates for you. But I heard um, it's not, they wanted, this sounds like the Libra just wanted to cover these lies up and cover them up and cover them up. But I heard basically it's not going to go that way because a, um, the Leo is about to fight back in a huge way. Um, the Libra thought they could just cover the lies up and cover the lies up and cover the lies up, but they're about not to, um, they're about to stand up for themselves, basically, um, if that resonates for you. Um, I would just keep, if this resonates, I mean, any of this resonates with you, I would just keep um, staying at a very high vibration, stay at a high vibration, don't let, um, don't get yourself tangled up into any, this third party situationship, that's not healthy. Of course, you have free will and you're welcome to partake in third party situations all day long if you want to, but that just leads to drama and craziness. I feel like one Pisces in the universe needs to hear this. That leads to drama and craziness and very low, low vibrational behavior. Somebody's partaking in that. Why would you drag yourself into drama and craziness? And I'm being serious. I just feel like somebody needs to hear that. Of course, you can do that if you want to. But that's what causes the energy, energetic spaces to be all screwed up is when people choose to do things like that. So maybe you want to think about that if you're the one in the third party situation ship. Just saying, just saying. But I heard uh, there was some kind of... Um, lies a libra has told on a leo in the past and it sounds like drug you and this leo into some craziness but basically i heard the leo is about to stand up and i think some of you guys are about well i heard in here earlier you're about to stand up to a libra too so i think for some of you guys if the situation is piggyback you're going to stand up to this libra too i think you both are you and this leo both are is what i'm feeling maybe you're going to get y'all are going to get some results by february or maybe y'all's life completely changes by february However, that resonates, if that resonates for you. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. There's going to be a very difficult situation coming up soon regarding a Pisces and their family member. But you can overcome this. Make sure to stay high, high vibrational. For some, it's a child. For some, it is a brother. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Some of you guys, you're about to have difficult situations regarding family members. For some, I heard it's a child. Uh, and for some, it's a grandchild. And for some, it's a grandchild. So for some of you guys, it's a grandchild. For some, it's a child. And for some, it's a brother. You have to plug these in where they resonate. But I heard basically you, you will overcome it, but you have to stay high, vibra high vibrational. Um, something difficult, some kind of difficult situation is going to go on, it sounds like, with the grandchild, with the child, and some a brother. But you can overcome, you just, you know, make sure to be strong and um, handle it in a very tactful, reasonable, um, loving way. I'm not talking about being run over loving way, just um, in a, a strong, loving S type way. You get too loving, people take advantage of you, um, if that helps somebody. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Pisces psychic abilities are about to get stronger. It's going to reveal to you some very important information. Very important information. You're going to be shook. Okay. Um, abstinent, abstinent Pisces. Okay, I heard abstinent Pisces. Okay, so if this resonates with you, you are an abstinent Pisces. So abstinent means you're not having sex right now. 
Um, so you're refraining from sexual relations from with person, people, place, fam, well, per, with anybody. You're refraining from sexual relations from with anybody, whoever this is for. Um, but you are psychic. You have psychic abilities. I think you have the players. Um, I didn't hear that, but I strongly feel you have the players. If that re this resonates with you, but I heard they're about to get stronger. And um, it's going to reveal to you some very important information. It's going to leave you very shook. And I can attest to that because that's what's happened to me. I've been abstinent for over two years now. And my psychic abilities have gotten nothing but stronger. Nothing but stronger. Um, that happened to me. So, But this is about to happen to another one of you guys, Pisces out there. But you abstinent. I didn't hear how long you've been abstinent. But you have been abstinent. And they're about to get stronger. If this resonates with you. I heard the information is going to leave you shook. So you're gonna, it's gonna be some pretty, pretty, pretty strong information if this resonates with you. Make sure to use it in a very tactful, reasonable way. Okay, I heard make sure to use it in a very tactful, reasonable way. So whatever information you're about to get in the psychic spiritual realm, I heard from spirit, make sure to use it in a very tactful, reasonable way. So handle handle the information very sensibly is what I'm feeling from that. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.